Right, welcome back to our new video of the vacuum engine. Go ahead and tell us about this one. So this one is a single overhead valve with the cam or the yeah, it would be the cam is connected to the crank itself, so it just picks it up automatically and then it brings it up here and it pushes down a little valve that's inside the chamber there. I don't know if you can see it pushing down in there. But there's a little valve in there that pushes down. And this one sucks in the air through there. There's like a little thing in there where it sucks the air through. There's a little Problem. valve in there. Yeah. It sucks the air through. And I tried running it with little support arms. But it just slowed it down, losing a lot of power. And then <clears throat> I did the circle tire at the same time with the ram for the flywheel. It doesn't like it. And then I went on YouTube and found, found and, and I was trying to find out why it wasn't running properly. Was because these overhead valve engines don't like the circle flywheel. So I had to make a whole custom flywheel with just some random parts I had laying around. But let me give you a little sound of what she sounds like. And what inspired me to make this was we have a dirt bike, which was an overhead valve. And I just thought it'd be cool to have one that sounds just like it. And it sounds almost exactly like it. Show us the inside part that you showed me earlier. So the inside is, let me just pop off that there. So what controls like the suction or not suction what pushes the valve back up are two rubber bands i'm trying to find better ones if you guys have any ideas on how to like make this better improving it. yeah but i just have two rubber bands that just push that inside this is the valve so that just sits in there that pushes down on that what pushes down on the top of the valve what pushes it is this little axle so what the axle does is it sits well, we'll put it here. It sits there, and then the cam... So like, the rocker pushes down Yes. On yes. It. And then the, that basically on the back side is the push rod going down. Yes, it's a push rod overhead. And then you have your little cam lobe that rotates using the flywheel down there. Yes. Yes. So there's the cam... And that would be considered a little follower up on top that pushes the push rod up. Yeah, it's a very cool design. It actually sounds good. It sounds like a little motor. Yeah. It really sounds more like a motor than the other ones we've done. One of the other designs you like is the um, <clears throat> hit and miss. You were yes. looking at that, so that might yeah. be a future one to try that's if i can find any like tutorials and like examples yeah but we have tons of legos here and there and stuff we have to clean too so we have a lot of legos for that but we we'll need a bigger vacuum we're just using that one and a half horse right yeah i think just ones we got from our freight two, we no it's two horsepower one and a half gallon yeah 
So just that one. No, our uh, hyper tough is Walmart. <clears throat> but so it works. That's the next step is a bigger vacuum. vacuum for it. But if you guys have any ideas on how to make the valve more reliable, that would be awesome. Improving. And I'll mention the comment if there is one that could help. I'll I'll try out all of the comments that are left down. See if they work. And if I find, like, the best one, I'll mention the ones that I've tried and the one that worked. Yeah, we appreciate you guys watching and any comments uh, for improving or anything at all. We appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.